Arts-related businesses are a vital part of the fabric of a cultural life in a community. For more than 110 years, the Ford family has been making and restoring pianos. And now, at their factory in Peekskill, John Ford is teaching the family business to his sons. How wonderful. We recently visited Ford Pianos to learn how these master craftsmen give instruments new life. John Ford, welcome to Ford Piano Company. Today we're going to take you on a tour of Ford Piano and you'll get to see the inner workings of a piano factory. 100 years ago, the piano industry was the largest industry in the country in terms of the amount of people employed. Uh, New York was the epicenter of piano manufacturing in the United States. There were 200 factories, most of them right around the New York area, each producing pianos under different names booming business around the turn of the century. We are standing in the action department of Ford Piano. We are doing action work, working on keys, hammers. Uh, it's the final stage of the piano rebuilding process. Right here, my son John is doing a process called traveling the hammer shanks. Um, the action is composed of a series of little pieces of wood with little pieces of felt and buckskin and cloth um, and they move. Uh, what we're doing right here in this particular operation is making sure that the movement is straight um, and so John is, is putting little tiny little pieces of tape underneath the spot where the shank is screwed into the action frame to adjust the way the hammer shank comes up. So it, it, we're making the hammer shank come up straight and not at an angle and not crooked. Uh, Chris over here is uh, doing what we call setting the key dip. Uh, he's determining the exact distance that the key moves down when you press the key. It's, it's a lot of hand-to-eye coordination and a lot of tactile sensation recognition uh, in the fingertips. Right now, Ricky over here is sanding sharps. These are the black keys, um, and they are ebony, and what we do is we, we sand them down and we put a coating on there and make them like new again. Still in the action department here, a properly regulated action uh, will give you a better tone uh, because the, uh, the way the hammer hits the string is, is facilitated. In other words, it's easy to play. Uh, it's fun to play. It feels like it's supposed to feel. So you need to have a proper feeling action before you can get good tone. Uh, my son Michael is doing a process called leveling the keys. Now, needless to say, the keys must be dead level. The key is basically a lever with a fulcrum point. Press one side, the other side goes up. So where we, what we do is we put these little tiny shims underneath the fulcrum point, and it basically levels the key. Um, so we need to square the keys and level the keys so they're absolutely dead level. Um, so when you play it, it feels like it's supposed to feel. Piano rebuilding can be broken into three different sections. One would be the action section, which consists of the keys, the hammers, the, basically the working mechanism. The other section would be called the string section, which has to do obviously with the strings, the tuning pins, the bridges, and the sounding board. And the third section would be the case section, which is concerned with the finish, the color, the look of the piano, the visual appeal. And so now we're going to take a little trip to the other two 
sections, the, uh, the belly department, which could be called also the string section, and the refinishing department, and it's right this way. We are in the sounding board department. Uh, most times we try to save the original sounding board where we can. Uh, sometimes we cannot save the original sounding board and we need to install a new sounding board and this is a tool that we made to do so. This is actually a form. Uh, it's made out of poplar. We made it um, and we use it as a form for installing the sounding boards. What it is, is it's pretty much of a dish. If you look at it, here's a straight piece of wood, and you can see it's, the wood is down on either end and is, is hollowed out in the middle. Uh, what happens is uh, we use this hollow to give the sounding boards what we call crown. Um, if the sounding board were flat like this and we put strings on it, it would go bloop and nothing would happen. The sounding board is actually in a convex position like this, so when we put pressure of strings on the sounding board through the bridges, it kind of wants to move at that point. So what this piece of wood is, um, it's a form for making sounding boards. Pin block uh, usually lasts half a century to three quarters of a century. Um, there is a tremendous amount of pressure on the tuning pin block. Those strings are pulled really tightly, which is why we need an iron frame to hold the strings in place. There's such a great deal of tension. Um, the iron frame is the heaviest part of the piano, and it holds that 20 tons of pressure in, in place. But we really need to have a high-end, a high-quality tuning pin block material to withstand the pressure of the strings being pulled to that extent. Right here we have, um, uh, it's actually a Beckstein piano, probably from the early 1900s. Uh, it's getting rebuilt, we're putting in a new sounding board, and a new pin block, a new action, and a new finish. It's getting everything. Uh, it's a very nice one, it's a seven footer. And right, right here, Mike is putting the finishing touches on the new bridge. It transmits the vibration from the strings to the sounding board. This is the finishing department. Uh, this is the place where we put new finishes on the piano. Pretty much the process is as follows. Uh, we basically take the old finish off. It's usually old varnish, sometimes it's lacquer. Uh, take the old finish off, we then get it down to the bare wood, prepare the wood. In other words, uh, fill any dents or imperfections in the veneer. We sometimes replace veneer. Uh, whatever we need to do to make the piano smooth. Uh, we sand the piano and we usually fill the pores of the piano with a filler and we then let it dry for several days, sand it again, then we stain the piano, and then we proceed to spray multiple coats of lacquer on all the pieces of the piano. And we sand in between coats. Now that's, that's what Nelly is doing right now. He's sanding in between coats. Certainly when we're done, uh, inside and out, and when we sit back and listen and look at our creation, uh, I, I would say it's a work of art. I'd like to thank you for coming and visiting Ford Piano, uh, our humble piano factory in Peekskill. Thank you very much. You can visit us anytime you like on FordPiano.com. And if anyone wants to come and tour the factory, they're more than welcome to come. I will give you the full five cent tour if you show up. Thanks again for coming to Ford Piano.